United States withdrawal from Afghanistan is slightly ahead of schedule, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said Thursday. I can report to you today that the retrograde is processing on pace, indeed slightly ahead of it, Austin told the House Appropriations Subcommittee on Defense in his opening statement. He offered, offered no further details of the pace and lawmakers did not ask for elaboration during questioning at the hearing meant to focus on the seven, 715 billion Pentagon budget being released Friday. That's another thing. After we get out of Afghanistan, we need to get rid of these enormous Pentagon budgets because their um, excuses for the United States government to use taxpayer money for undefined reasons overseas. Uh, we'll, I'll get more into that after I read this last part. President Biden has ordered all U.S. troops out of Afghanistan by September 11th, the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attacks that sparked America's longest war. But several reports have indicated the withdrawal could be completed as soon as July. In its most recent update on the withdrawal Tuesday, U.S. Central Command sent Corn said the process is about 16 to 25 percent complete. Kent uh, CENTCOM is only giving ranges for completion of the withdrawal and not specifying the number of troops that have left Afghanistan over what it says are concerns about service member safety. Oh, so they're not saying the number of service members that have left because they're worried that, let's say it comes out that they, they released all the service members to you know back to the United States or out of that country except for 20 people. They're worried that some terrorist might then look at that and say, hey, there we don't have many troops over there uh, anymore. Let's go and attack them. So I do understand why they're doing that. Um, there's a part of me that is very worried that if they are able to finish getting all the troops out by July, so again, ahead of schedule, because Biden wants to do it by September, he, he might actually try to keep a troop over there just so they can say, oh, we got them out by the 20th anniversary on the, or on the 20th anniversary of 9-11, give a speech about how he finally ended this war that's been going on for, you know, this entire duration of time, the longest war. I hope he's not egotistical to do something like that. But I really, this is what I was talking about. I said, I, I hate the news sometimes because they keep certain stories hidden in the background. I, I had not heard about this Pentagon budget being released tomorrow until I saw this story. Um, I really hope that uh, the troops actually leave from over there. I don't know, it seems like there's not much to say. This is the first update I've seen of it since then, uh, since... You know, he's kind of really, since he's been off, because really he hasn't discussed this that much. Um, when I think about foreign policy and major things that happened under Biden, it's pretty much limited to just the, the Israel scandal or the uh, Israel-Gaza conflict that happened over that 11 days. Other than that, everything else just been kind of the status quo. Um, so I hope he actually gets out of here. I hope it's not another joke, but... I, I do think there's a chance that if they withdraw all the troops by this summer, he'll say, oh, well, let's keep some over for, so I can give my little stupid speech in September, announcing that we've, we've finished. So we'll see what happens.